Mm. Se viene con todo el papel. Youtubers, I'm gonna teach you how to I'm gonna show you how to fix the leaks. This roof is fairly new. The guys who installed the uh, solar panel they got they brought their own roofer and they did this job. Like I said, anyone can be good on a fill. But when you get to the detail, that's when you see the real roofer. These guys they couldn't figure it out how to stop the water here and how to stop the water there now the lady she wants us to replace all this area and probably charge back the company she doesn't trust the company anymore anyways uh a quick suggestion always when you're installing shingles try to try to throw a 30 pound on top of the valley and then overlap you know cross that paper all the way to here and cross this paper there so that way you have at least three, three layers of felt of the valley. And this guy, what they do, they, they, they install the valley first. No khaki, nothing. They just install it over the bare plywood and then they overlap the, they overlap the felt on top and they cut it. So the water didn't have a, the water just found its way down. So now we're taking it apart and uh, putting it back together. Um, yeah. Hopefully you like the results I'll show you. Right here they use 10 shingles be behind the uh, the 1x4. They could just remove the 1x4 and use this L metal that's buried into the wall. Just clean it right and then pack it. We just put a lot of uh, mastic and then use it as a 10 shingles. I have no choice. I cannot use 10 shingles. So no one to use 10 shingles. Okay guys? See this one has been here for a long time. So, and this one is buried underneath. This is a, a 4x4 L metal that's buried behind the wall. Behind the paper, no, it's the metal, paper, and then the wood. This one, they're gonna put a stack of, so I'm gonna, these guys, they got lazy, you just put 10 shingles on top of it, so all the water was coming from here too, so there's no way to stop it, no brainers. Okay, guys? Also, right here, they didn't know how to do this detail, so, whew, rookies, I'm gonna school you. Watch this video. Hello YouTubers. Uh, uh, this little tip is about a guy who sent me a message on uh, on YouTube. He told me if they have to remove this little film right here. You see this film? You see it? There's a little film on top of the on top of the shingle. Okay. You're not supposed to remove it. You know why? Because this is like a like a a protection in case if you put a nail here and it leaks. The water is gonna go through the nail but it's not gonna go through the film this is a peeling stick underneath okay don't remove it because as you see when you nail if you if you if you nail in the in the in the nailing line your, your nail is supposed to be on this on top of this uh, black line so make sure that you you don't remove this one because once you remove it the water is just gonna go through okay and this one also they prevent the shingles from sticking to each other but also it's for that purpose you know that's why this one is left black on all the shingles is to prevent you know from the like sometimes you know the people they they put them then the nail too too close to the you know to the joint of the shingles and uh, some people call it styes or whatever anyway but don't remove this uh, film okay don't do not because this is the last protection that your nail has in case if you made a mistake that's why you know I, I tell a lot of people they go there and say oh you know what the the nails are showing the nails are this, this, this. it's not going to leak because you have you still have this one and if it leaks it's gonna take years maybe like 15 20 years to leak okay so stop making uh, false videos out there on YouTube bye guys